Space is big. In fact, space is so big that even if we travelled at the speed of light, we wouldn't make it to the nearest star system for a whopping four years. Yes, yeah, space is huge and always growing. Yet, so is humanity's desire to truly explore and conquer the universe. But how can we really push the limits of space travel if we simply don't have the technology to allow it? Well, the truth is that we can master and use light speed technology. It just won't be easy. Just because it's challenging doesn't mean it's impossible. And it doesn't mean it's not worth the effort. Right now, NASA is hard at work perfecting light speed travel. And when it does, the sky will literally be limitless. So what does NASA have up its sleeve when it comes to light speed tech? Well, let's find out. Any spacecraft that can travel at light speed will need what's known as warp drive, which used to be something straight out of a sci-fi novel. In fact, the term warp drive actually comes from the classic science fiction movies like Star Trek. While no warp drive has ever been officially invented, research and development into one have come a long way over the last few decades, and now it seems apparent that NASA is taking this concept which was once just a pipe dream, and turning it into reality. A warp drive would have the ability to quite literally bend the fabric of space and allow astronauts to travel wildly vast distances in far, far less time than previously thought. A warp drive would take a massive amount of energy, more than what's currently available in the universe, to contract and twist space-time and create a bubble of sorts. Inside this bubble would be an area where travelers would feel no acceleration at all. In theory, the bubble will reduce the distance that the ship will need to travel. In other words, it will warp and bend space to make light speed possible. The concept is known as the Alcubierre drive, and it was created by, you guessed it, physicist Miguel Alcubierre back in 1994. He claimed his concept would expand space-time on one side of a spaceship and contract it on the other, thanks to the incredible amount of energy being used. By doing so, it would create a bubble that allows the spacecraft to operate outside of physics. It's been compared to a party trick you may have seen many times. Remember when your friend or family grabbed hold of a tablecloth, sitting underneath a bunch of plates and glasses on a table, and then quickly ripped it out without making a mess or breaking a single piece of kitchenware. Imagine that a spaceship using the Alcubierre drive is the glass on top of the tablecloth, and the drive is the force whipping it out from underneath. The entire distance of the tablecloth is travelled in the blink of an eye. The conception of this warp drive comes from the greatest human mind of all time, Albert Einstein. His theory of general relativity gave scientists an idea of the ways that space-time bends in response to the existence of matter and energy. Essentially, it explained how two things move through space. Building upon this revolutionary idea is how Alcubierre came up with his futuristic warp drive. But if NASA wants to conquer light speed with this proposed warp drive, they have a big problem. The major issue is that the sort of energy needed for an Alcubierre drive just simply doesn't exist. There is just no known mechanism in our world capable of creating the amount of energy needed. So what if NASA took a slightly different approach, one that would get astronauts to their destination? That's what scientist Eric Lentz proposes. He suggests that NASA create a different type of space-time bubble if they crafted a bubble that came in the shape of solitons, they would be able to achieve their goals much easier. Solitons are akin to ripples across a lake. They maintain the whipping movements while remaining at a constant velocity. Lentz suggests that creating this type of space-time bubble would only need conventional energy production techniques. If that's true, then NASA could travel at great speeds. Indeed, they could move at the speed of light while not needing more energy. If Lentz is right, 
he may have just given NASA exactly what they need to whip through the universe at remarkable speeds. No matter which approach they take, NASA is definitely working on their very own warp drive. An internal report from inside the agency suggests that they are taking the concept of folding space and time very, very seriously. Obviously, NASA is keeping all of this very quiet, and make no mistake, they have a long way to go. But there is no doubt that they are running with the idea of Alcubierre's warp drive and trying to convert it into something they could actually use. Outside of the mammoth amount of energy needed, there are many problems that would come with traveling at warp speed. For one, traveling at such high speeds would be very dangerous to the ship and any passengers aboard it. Because the ship would be going so fast, it would be hit by a lot of dangerous particles as it moves at such an unheard of speed. That means that any ship flying at this pace would need specially made shields to protect it and everyone on board. Plus, flying at this speed would literally distort and bend space-time out of shape. Think of it like this. If you are travelling to our nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, the trip would seem, from the perspective of an observer on Earth, to take a little more than 4.25 years. For someone on the ship, however, the travel time would be a little more than five days. They could travel there, do a bit of exploration, and come back in less than a fortnight. But everyone here at home would have aged more than eight years. As you can imagine, this sort of distortion of time would have great consequences on those flying through space and their families back home. But perhaps the greatest challenge of traveling at these speeds is that navigating and steering any vehicle is practically impossible. It wouldn't be like driving a car or flying a plane. NASA would have to find ways for pilots to take control at such tremendous speeds. The truth is, that any trip using light-speed warp drives would test the limits of humanity. This isn't the sort of technology that would be employed on a trip to the Moon or Mars, and the further our travelers go, the more dangers lurk. There is just not a lot known about the deep reaches of space that warp drives would allow us to explore. But that doesn't mean NASA isn't trying to work out the kinks of warp drives and figure out a way to make it possible. Even with the distortion of time, the great expense of energy needed, and the other problems they aren't even aware of, warp drives have the potential to quite literally close the gap and let us touch stars that would have taken thousands of years to visit before. Right now, warp drives only exist in the dreams of the hard-working engineers at NASA. However, there was a time when the idea of landing a man on the moon also seemed far-fetched and unbelievable. There is a good chance that within our lifetimes, the hard work that NASA is currently doing will result in the sort of high-tech, futuristic warp drives that Captain Kirk and his crew took for granted. But of course, this futuristic technology isn't the only thing that NASA is focused on. Recently, NASA got back some of the first real images of Jupiter, and what they found left their scientists baffled. If you want to see this breakthrough discovery, make sure to click the video on your screen. And as always, thanks for watching.